Well, now we get to this uh, interesting conversation at the end of our fifth day, which is about God's authority. Most of you probably would have read the outlines and you've gone, principle this, principle that, principle. God's authority. What's that there for? <laughs> and, uh, and yet it's probably one of the most important things we'd like to talk to you about in a lot of ways. So the topic is God's authority. And we'll be having a 40-minute discussion and a 30-minute Q&A about it. So, so let's get started. What do we mean by God's authority? Well, obviously, when you examine the way it is on earth and we've examined our hangover and so forth, we can see that we've got quite a few issues with authority, don't we? Like, we've got, like, it started with parental authority, where we've got some big issues there, where we really don't feel that parents should have authority over us, or we have the opposite belief where we feel that, yeah, parents should have authority over us till we're dead or till they're dead, <laughs> is often the case. So we have quite big distortions about this idea of authority. And then when it comes to human authority, like the human law enforcers and the human you know, lawmakers, most of us have quite a lot of disrespect for authority, probably. Isn't that the case? And so we end up in this state where we basically have this attitude towards authority that I'm the authority and all you can go to hell. Right. <laughs> and the problem with that is you've got seven billion people all having that attitude. <laughs> it's surprising that we even get anything done, isn't it? It just so happens that because of our injuries and so forth, a lot of us have the same, we have agreement about what constitutes the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. And so we have a certain level of cohesion in society as a result of the combined level of agreement. Of course, when nobody agrees with you, then on earth you have very little authority, generally. Isn't that the case? Okay. So unfortunately that means that on earth God's authority is not recognised because hardly anybody on earth agrees with it. Right? But of course God's laws impose authority. So this is where a lot of our pain and suffering comes from. God's laws are imposing God's authority. We disagree with God's authority. And so naturally we're going to set ourselves up as the authority and the problem with that is we end up breaking the majority of the laws that tell us that God has authority. So this human law hangover, the manner in which the, those in authority have treated us as children has had a major influence in our life. Right? A huge influence in our life actually. And it affects how we see authority and it affects how we see God's authority in particular. So let's look at a definition of authority. What do we mean by authority? Well, it's the label we're giving to the sum total of God's principles of scope, hierarchy, governance, responsibility and compensation. The foundation principle, scope, that forms the foundation for the other order-based principles, hierarchy, governance, responsibility and compensation, work all together in unison to create authority through law. That's what they do. So they assign authority not only over the soul but also to the soul, allowing its ability to have authority over other things, independent of God. Which is interesting in itself, isn't it? So each soul becomes the highest authority over its creations as long as its cre creations, the constituent elements of its creation, have been created by that soul. Now, we'll see what that means as we go through the discussion. All right? So that's our definition of authority. 